Hello everybody and welcome to another episode oh, of Mixed Mama. Mama. I've got a little Riley boy here. He's currently off school today because Majoshi, he's been working and his mate's tested positive. No, not actually Shell's house. No, not actually Shell's house. Nan's not actually house yet. So Josh has come home. Unfortunately, Riley boy's come down with a, a bit of something. He's had a, um, uh, a, bit of a bit of a cough and a cold also. Is he okay? Um, but what, what did Daddy just do to you? Stuck something up your nose, didn't I? Yeah. So I just tested him for, for the old uh, doodad. Um, and is your with Kelly? Yeah, yeah, he's with Kelly. Yeah, he's ran there. So I just just done a lateral flow test on him, uh, which was hilarious. He absolutely loved that, didn't he? It was nice, wasn't it? Yeah. Did Not wasn't it? It was horrible, wasn't it? Yeah, horrible. I didn't like it. So he's very, very off colour. I'm off work now for the next day or two just because. No, I'm not now. I had to ring my boss, so I can't come in because you're not very well. And Josh, boss. Josh could be, could be, eh? Hey? My boss, yeah. He could be positive, so we don't know. So we're just playing on the, on the side of caution. Um, anyway, that's what it is. We've already had it once, so we'll see how we get on. Uh, had a cut of parcels. Someone sent me um, some Rockwood pull cord. Um, what's, what, what, what millimetre is that? How many mil? Uh, three millimetre, 100 metres of yeah. pull cord. I don't know who it's from, I can't remember the name. I, I looked for the, the email, text or whatever, I can't find it, but if that was you, thank you very much for that. Also had delivered off my Amazon wish list, off a of Gareth, yeah. uh, Gareth Small Engine Repair Shop. He's up north somewhere, no, not brush your teeth, he's brushing um, spark plugs. For cleaning spark plugs and a wire brush, so that's cool. Thank you very much, shall I look, quick look at it? Yeah, Let's I'll open, open it. I'll open it. Always wear safety glasses, apparently, it says there. Daddy? Yeah. I'll show you. You can show me them. There you go. You go, 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 go brush your teeth with it, though. You, you won't like that. I'll try. No, no, no. It's a bit, it's a bit too hard. No, it's a bit too... It's a nice soft brush, but um, good for good for doing um, spark plugs and what have you. All right. There you go. You do it all right? Perfect. You know, I'll, I'll make a mechanic out of you yet. So I've got those, which is brilliant. And also received um, my AJP Garden Machines um, key ring. What did you do? Thank you very much, Ash, for that. I won a, comp I won a competition. What did you do? Uh, it's for opening uh, bottles of Coke only. This, this doesn't open beer, it only opens fizzy Coke, okay? In two seconds. I've got this sticker here from the Lawnmower Detective, it says it's donut time. Show the guys. You got a little wiggle as well because uh, of a light, not as much as that. A little wiggle uh, oh. from the Lawnmower Detective. Uh, this is from a birthday. Um, sent me an LMD Lawnmower two. Detective um, two. one, yeah, two. And also this one here, Lawnmower yeah. Detective, it says it's donut time. It says happy birthday cupcake from LMD. Happy birthday cupcake. <laughs> and also he sent me a bump sticker too, Where? which will go on my door um, from a Lawnmower Detective too. You can see it? It says uh, Lawnmower Detective, it's donut time as seen on YouTube. YouTube channel. Yeah, there you go, YouTube channel, yeah. There he is. That's from Dave. So thank you very much for that. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how I remove the friction discs off of Hater 41s, Hater 48s, Hater 56s, and also Haterettes or any other lawnmower that has a lawnmower blade friction disc on it. So this is the disc that sits um, underneath the blade, and if you hit something quite solid, it will just just um, just rub against a friction disc. That's what's called a friction disc. These can be notoriously hard to get off and generally require lots of thumping with a hammer. Um, and lots of people actually can't take the engines off of lawnmowers because the friction disc won't fit through the hole. So I'm going to show you how to remove them. I'll also show you a little way of how I used to remove them before I got the actual tool to do the job. So uh, that would be hopefully quite a good video for you because lots of people that do what I do, they do struggle with the friction discs on the haters and on any other lawnmower that has a friction disc fitted to it. You right there? Yeah. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get down. Let's get dirty. Let's get dirty and let's sort out this hater 48 with a friction disc and I'll show you how to take it off. Right, so here at B, Hater 48, this is 2005, 6, 2005 model. Um, I picked this up free of charge, bloke gave it to me. Um, I sold the machine and he said you can have this if you want it, it's, you know, have it for nothing. So I took it away. I've got it all running. I have done a video on it because it, it was pretty much running anyway, but I think you just want a new pull cord on it. But I've done a few other bits and pieces to it, but it all runs great. Um, I want to take the blade off uh, to uh, tidy the blade, and I have um, seen there was a lot of debris up underneath the friction disc, which I've taken off already. But I just thought, you know, whilst I'm here, I might as well do a video. So um, I'm just going to show you how I remove the friction disc. So there's no oil in this machine at all. It's ready for an oil change. So I've got a new brown spark plug in there. Um, so I'm just going to tip the machine back, okay, and tuck it under my drawer, my filing cabinet drawer, which is absolutely perfect for holding machines up where they need to be. It's just like that. 
Um, let me bring it around a bit more. In fact, I'm gonna try and bring it around this side. I've got my new tripod, so I'm trying, trying new angle dangles. See if that works out for us. Let's just tip it back a smidge. Let's try that, shall we? Let's just bring that light up a touch. Let's get a bit more light on the go. So here's a new, a new, uh, a new system I'm using. Hopefully it will benefit you guys. Let's turn the lighting up a smudge as well. Give it a bit more light, you shall us. Let's go up to about 60%. There you go, how's that? Yeah, that's improved already, Mick. There you go, have some of that. Right, so there's a friction disc and blade underneath. To remove the blade is not, not so much of an issue. You can use all the tools in your arsenal. Um, you can use one of these. Let me grab it. This is called a blade removal tool. You can find this in my tools that I use section. Uh, that clips to the side of uh, said, said deck, do it up. You can then pinch the blade against it, okay, and then undo it with a, a ratchet or whatever, whatever you've got. Um, lots of other methods, which I wouldn't recommend, like putting your foot in there and plank of wood and what have you, because you don't want to damage yourself or damage your deck. Um, but the best way I find to do it is to get your impact gun. Now I've got a new half inch one, big boy's toy. I've also got a quarter inch as well, but I prefer the half inch. And all you want to do, put your half inch one on there, okay. And unzap that, okay. And that's your um, that's your blade removed, ready for sharpening, okay. Now the next problem you've got is is trying to remove this actual friction disc. Should you want to do so, sometimes there's lots of rubbish underneath here. Or if you want to get at the um, oil seal at the bottom uh, to change that, you have to remove this friction disc. Now, what I have seen done, you can get some bolts, okay. Let me find a few bolts for you. Got a few here. Now what you can do is you can use the old um, friction disc and blade assembly. You can put two bolts, one through there and one through there. You can then attach this blade through. You might have to drill a hole so that these two holes line up, okay? And then with a puller, put a, a, um, a bolt through that but don't muck your, your blade, your, your threads up in the middle and use that to pull against, okay? So you can use that option. But in all fairness, the best thing I've found on the market is one of these. This is a proper um, non-genuine hater um, friction disc puller. Um, you can get this on eBay. Uh, the fella who makes this one is actually in the Isle of Wight. Think they're about 20 quid, 25 quid, okay? Uh, not a cheap tool, but if you do what I do and do this regularly, um, they are an absolute godsend. The, the bolt is actually tapered at the end, um, hardened steel. And all you do is you put this through both holes, like so. Okay, hold it, hold it there. Then get the two nuts, put them on. Do them up nice and snug so they don't rattle about on you. The half inch impact makes all the difference, okay? But you may want to also now decide to bring in some matte gas, okay? Because these can be stuck on and literally just want to heat up the friction disc. Don't go behind here because there's an oil seal behind. You can, you can get it, but you stand a chance of actually melting that, melting that, that, um, that seal. So heat the disc up. Once it's successfully warm enough, obviously, you know, be careful because you've now, you now got something that's hot underneath there. You can then get your impact socket, ratchet, whatever you've got, breaker bar, wh whatever it is you're going to use. 17 mil onto there, into reverse, number one setting. Put that on, don't forget it's warm. And bish bash bosh, do it up. Bosh, done. And that's how you remove, that's gonna be warm, don't forget. Um, that's how you remove your hater friction discs off of your lawnmowers. Now, <clears throat> what I recommend doing, if you do the same as me, do a little bit of little bit of lawnmower fixing in your spare time, or if you've got a couple of haters yourself, you run your own business or what have you, the best thing I would now recommend is before you um, put this hater friction disc back on to either, to either talk, sort your seal out down the bottom here, which mine is not leaking, lovely. Um, you want to get what's called, I call it old pants, right? But that's actually called copper slip. Uh, get some copper slip, 
which you use on brake brake discs or brake back of brake pads like you used to do in the day. I don't think you do it quite so much nowadays, but this stuff is called copper slip, okay? Copper grease. Uh, I call it old pants, because when I go into my into my boys' room, half past six, seven o'clock in the morning, go and wake them up, it smells like that. It smells like old pants. Three boys in a room, all boys being boys, and uh, yeah, it smells of old cackers in there, so a bit of copper slip on there. And I promise you, in a year's time, two years' time, three years' time, five years' time, if you get that lawnmower back in for a service repair and you want to do the blade and remove, remove the, uh, the friction disc off of that machine, I guarantee you that will come off like butter, okay? Because you just put that copper slip on there. If you don't put it on there, um, it, it will be an absolute pig. And you better see, when I uh, find a keyway slot, is that a keyway slot there, Mix up. I think there's, sometimes there's two on here, there's only one. When you find a keyway slot on here now, you'll see that with just the, the, the smallest amount of therapy, the smallest amount, where's my, uh, where's my mallet gone? Where's my hammer? Let me, let me get a, a, a rubber mallet, I don't use nothing too heavy, I'll use a soft blow hammer if I can. <clears throat> I don't want to damage that, that friction disc any more than I need to. And with a soft blow hammer, mallet, that goes all the way home. A dirty net. That goes all the way home. What you've got to do now is sharpen your blade up. Uh, although it could have a new blade on here, but it'll take a sharpen for now. Sharpen your blade up, reattach your bolt, bish bash boss done. So yeah, I'd recommend picking one of these up. I'm not affiliated, I'm not earning no money out of it. But pick yourself up a hater friction disc removal tool. I got mine off of eBay off of a, off of a fella at the other white, as I say. And that's exactly how you remove a friction disc off of a hater 41, 48, 56, hater haterette, or anything like that. If you've come across a machine that doesn't have the holes, okay, on, on this disc, what you can do is with, with this implement, what you can do is, let me get my impact, just unwind these. What you can do is put your, your tool up inside, okay? Do that up. Oh, undo it, sorry, undo it. So it's flat against the deck, right? A bit of spray paint, ch -ch -ch, squirt it in between the holes, bring it back, and that'll then mark your centers. Drill two holes, and then you can then use a friction disc puller on that. As I say, you can use an old, an old lawnmower blade with holes drilled um, specially for it. Put it up onto there like so, and you can then use that to pull against, but you stand the risk of bend, bending your blade if that's the only blade you've got. So I'd recommend using one of these pullers. They're fantastic, about 25 pound, save your life. Okay, so that's how you remove the friction disc off of a Hater 48, 41, 56, a Hater Haterette, or any other lawnmower that has the friction disc fitted to the, um, to the underside by the blade. Um, yeah. Quite a simple little tool. They are quite pricey. They're about 20, 25 quid. <laughs> 25 quid off of, off of eBay. Don't hurt you. Don't Where, you. show me. Where? I didn't, just poking, just poking. Um, so that's cool, we're about 25 pound off of eBay. Um, I don't think get one on Amazon. There's a fellow who makes them in the Isle of Wight, as I said, and that's where I got mine from, um, off of eBay for about 20, 25 quid. I have had mine for about three years now, or maybe two years, um, and it, it makes all the difference, man. It makes all the difference. If you if you struggle, if you remember, I did a hater hater a little while ago, and I wasn't taking the engine off for a, uh, for, for a hater hater <laughs> for restoration and I couldn't get the, um, the friction disc off. Um, so I couldn't take the engine off to, to do the paint job. So now I have got one, it comes off easy, easy. What's that? It's probably dirt. You're quite finished, you're like a gibbon picking on me. What is it then? It's just a bit of dirt, don't worry about it. I've been getting down on dirty, that's what I do. <laughs> Um, so that's cool. So have a look, look on eBay and what have you on the internet. They are there. You can get genuine ones, but you'll pay the price for those. The copy ones are just as good, and I don't have any problems with them at all. Just try and heat them up a little bit with some matte gas if you have it. It does make all the difference. And don't forget to put your old pants on on the shaft as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's, it's old pants. Grease, yeah. It smells like old pants. Do you wear pants? And I wear pants. Do you wear pants? Yes, Good lad. Do. And then that way you can then get it off in the future um, when you come to service the machines again a bit later on. Okay, we've got them, moustache. So thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mars. If you didn't find it um, helpful, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the old subscribe button, and whack the old bell. 
Ding. That way you'll be taught one done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mars very, very soon, but until then, don't forget, much more importantly, take her easy. Uh.